Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm using my uh, Yamaha CM500 headset for this uh, recording. And uh, this past weekend I was working in the Ritty contest using a Raspberry Pi 3, my ICOM 7300, and uh, FL Digi installed on uh, the Raspberry Pi. And boy, you know, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it uh, operated flawlessly. I didn't have any problems with it lagging, uh, any hesitation, uh, nothing like that. Once I got the macro button set up, I just used my mouse to uh, point and click. I'm holding the camera with one hand and uh, using the mouse with the other, so it's <laughs> a little daunting task here, but I was able to do it. I apologize for the uh, quality of the video. Getting a little bit better at it, but I uh, didn't have any recording uh, software for the uh, Raspberry Pi, so that's why I'm holding the camera. Using the uh, 7300, uh, I'm using uh, MFSK, not FSK. Um, and I'm using the filters, uh, just the default filters for upper sideband data. And uh, filter one is uh, pretty wide. Filter two, uh, that's what I'm using right here. And then the third filter, which is pretty narrow. And uh, I can really uh, knock out the signals that are on either side of me. So it did work really good. I was, I was happy with it. Uh, I was able to leave the log open and um, just going through there to make sure the serial numbers are entered correctly. And you know for a, uh, a 35 or $75 computer uh, boy, uh, you really can't beat this. I connected my cables up uh, from the 7300 to the Raspberry Pi, and it recognized them right away. Uh, you can go to my website, www.k0pir.us, and I have an article on there on uh, how I got this set up. Uh, with the 7300, and even if you're using something like a Signal Link USB, uh, you should be able to set it up pretty easy. And in this contest, I'm just using the uh, logger that uh, came with FL Digi. I was trying to get uh, CQR log uh, installed on the Raspberry Pi, and I had a little bit of trouble. I eventually got it installed, but uh, it, it wasn't working really, really well, so... I thought uh, during this contest I would just use the log, uh, the log book that's uh, with FL Digi. Here you can see I open up the browser uh, window, and uh, it's Chromium, and I can go in and search websites uh, without any problem. And uh, you know it doesn't uh, interfere with FL Digi that's running. Uh, I've got the uh, uh, the run uh, macro going and call on CQ. I can go uh, browse uh, the internet and when I hear somebody come back to me jump back to FL Digi and away I go. Takes a little bit getting used to. Uh, I was double clicking on the call signs and then uh, hitting the macro button and uh, that seemed to work. But then entering in the serial number I wasn't sure, uh, I would double click on it and then I brought up the, uh, I would right click, bring up the menu and uh, left click on the serial number to enter it. And I actually got it entered into two fields, the exchange field and the serial number receive field uh, just to be safe. I wasn't sure. Uh, how well this was going to export for the contest. I, I did get it to export. It, it, it did work. It took a little doing, but uh, I got it uploaded to the website. The problem I had was I took this log and uh, I, I used the uh, my laptop with N1MM logger and MMTTY the second day, 
just to compare the two and uh, so I had those two logs and I had to combine them and then get them uploaded and I had a little trouble doing that but uh, you know between the two you know uh, N1MM and then using this Raspberry Pi with FL Digi uh, I like using N1MM better I guess uh, maybe I'm just more familiar with it but uh, using the, the Raspberry Pi and FL Digi was a lot of fun uh, the big difference is using this uh, I'm uh, uh, resigned to using uh, MFSK and not FSK and the ICOM 7300 really shines using FSK uh, using the filters uh, the RIDI filters on the 7300 uh, it's just fantastic uh, there is a big difference and if you uh, if you're using N1MM and MMTTY uh, go to my website take a look at it there's a article on uh, setting that up and I also have some YouTube videos so it'll walk you through step by step on uh, getting FSK set up on the 7300 I'm not sure what I'm going to do next on this uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm going to look for some more software to install on it, see how well it runs. But I am uh, pretty happy with this. It ran flawlessly. Cheap computer, and uh, you know, FL Digi is uh, is fantastic digital software. I've made a lot of PSK31 contacts with it, so I'm really happy about that. Alrighty, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if uh, you want to comment below, please do. I'll try to answer any questions that I can. 73, good DX. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.